Hey, it's Vass here from Aussie RC Playground and welcome to another episode of RC Hot Tip. Yes, I am bringing the series back. I did some episodes of RC Hot Tip a couple of years ago, maybe even a bit longer than that. The series has been on hiatus for quite some time and I've decided to bring it back and we're gonna be kicking it off with uh, talking about LiPo battery voltages and understanding the three main voltages of LiPo batteries. So when it comes to LiPo batteries, there's a couple of voltages that you really need to be aware of. One is of course the maximum charge voltage. Next one is the lowest safe voltage that you can discharge a LiPo battery to. And then of course you've got your storage voltage, which we'll talk about in the last segment of this video. So for now, we're gonna be talking about peak charge. This is your maximum charge voltage. So when you put a battery on charge, you're gonna see that it's gonna go beyond 3.7 volts per cell. So a 7.4 volt, uh, 2S means that each cell is 3.7 volts. That's their resting voltage. Maximum charge will be 4.2 volts. You should not be charging any standard LiPo battery beyond 4.2 volts. The only time that you can charge a LiPo battery beyond 4.2 volts is when it actually specifically says that it can be done, such as this one here, which says LIHV. So this is a LiPo high voltage. This means that I can charge this battery to 4.35 volts per cell, but you do not want to do that to any of these because you potentially could blow up these cells. You can charge this one at a normal charge rate, so you can charge this all the way to just 4.2 volts, but you can't charge a normal battery to 4.35 uh, because yeah, bad things can happen. Now the next voltage we're gonna be talking about is of course low voltage. This is the lowest safe voltage that you can discharge a LiPo battery. LiPo batteries have a low voltage cutoff. You cannot discharge them below a certain voltage or you could potentially damage those cells. That is why speed controllers on RCs, whether it's a car, a boat, plane, or what have you, will have a low voltage cutoff. And if you don't have a low voltage cutoff, you will need to get an external low voltage alarm of some sort to let you know when it's time to stop using the battery. So what is the lowest safe voltage for LiPo batteries? I follow one rule and that is 3.2 volts. I do not like to discharge my batteries beyond that point as they may start to get a little bit puffy or you may potentially even damage the cell to the point where it may not charge the same as the other cells in the battery. So just stick to 3.2 volts as your absolute lowest point. In most cases, you would set your low voltage cutoff on your speed controllers to like 3.4 or 3.5, just to give you a little bit of a buffer because we don't want to damage these cells. They're a little bit sensitive and 3.2 volts is about the lowest as you'd wanna go. So last but not least is of course storage voltage. So when you are not using a LiPo battery or when you are not going to use it for a long period of time, like a, I don't know, maybe a few days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, it is advised that you put it on storage charge. Now, I've been a little bit naughty in the past and I've had LiPo batteries uh, fully charged waiting for me to get uh, to use them for maybe a week or two, uh, and that's really not ideal. You will start to see that the cells will start to tire a little bit. LiPo batteries don't like to be stored away fully discharged or fully charged. They need to be stored away uh, in a storage charge. So storage charge should be around about 3.7 to 3.8 volts per cell. Um, you don't necessarily need to go anything beyond that. So this one here, for example, it is bang on 3.8 volts each cell. So this is in perfect storage mode. This one here, for example, I know that I uh, was out flying the other day and I didn't get a chance to use this battery. So this battery is now being fully charged for about two or three days. I need to put it back on storage charge because I know I'm not gonna use it. And as you can see here, 4.16, 4.16, 4.16. So again, perfectly balanced, but I do need to put it on storage charge. It is not ideal to have these fully charged for long periods of time, because otherwise uh, pretty much every battery that you would buy out there would come to you and have a very short lifespan. If you test each battery when you first open the box, it should be sitting on about 3.8 volts per cell. That is their perfect storage voltage, and that's how you should put your batteries away. Now, last but not least, we're gonna be talking about a, an external low voltage alarm. Now, one of the alarms that I really like to use are these types of alarms here. This has a digital readout. It's got two very large beepers and right at the very top of this, there's also a little button that you can press and set the low voltage that you want uh, this to start beeping at. So we're gonna be setting it up here. I'll put it on this battery. 
and I think it works this way. And you'll see how loud it is when I plug it in. So very loud. And you can see that it's actually giving me a readout. So this is good to kind of have on the field just so that you can check your battery um, and just find out if it's fully charged or not. You can see that it goes through all the cells um, each cell is uh, perfectly balanced. I'm pretty happy with the way that this one's actually been done. So that is a low voltage alarm. Now, in order to set the low voltage, if I just press once this button up the top here, uh, it's just gonna tell me what it's set to. So if I press it, it's set at 3.4. So I know that once this, these cells reach 3.4 volts, and it doesn't matter which one, whichever one gets there first, this is gonna start beeping at me. Uh, now, if I press it and then press it again real quick, it's going to change that uh, low voltage setting. So press, press again, and you can see 7.7, 3.7, sorry, 3.8, and then it'll turn off. And then you press it again, and you just keep climbing up until you get to your low voltage cutoff point. So this is ideal if you're using batteries that are not connected to an RC. Uh, maybe you might be using it to power some lights or to power um, I don't know, some other thing that doesn't have a low voltage cutoff. Once this uh, drains down, this will start beeping. Time to stop using the battery and put it back on charge. And that is pretty much it. And that's gonna wrap up this uh, first episode of RC Hot Tip uh, in this new series. So in the next episode, we're gonna be talking about milliamps and C ratings, and hopefully that will give you also a bit of an understanding uh, of whether or not the battery you're using is actually suitable for the application that you're using it for. But for now, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And as always, check out the video description. I'll have links in there to the batteries that you see here, as well as links to my social media pages. Thank you again, and I'll speak to you all next time. Thank you.